Hey everyone, so we're going to talk about how you can add color to your text in Minecraft Education Edition. Alright, so this is a pretty cool one. Um, we all know we can write text, but you can actually place or change the color of those texts in the Minecraft game. And you can do that anywhere that kind of text will appear, and today we're going to look at two examples. So our very first example is, let's come over here and have a look at this little um, chalkboard or poster that we have up. And so we know typically that we kind of just open them up and then we can, um, you know, write our text in. Whatever it may be, instructions, explanations, who knows what. But, you know, let's say if it's an instruction, maybe it's like, you know, you can't come in here, so you're going to write stop. I might want that stop to be really, you know, to stand out and maybe be red. So in the um, description in the, of this video below, um, there's a link. And if you click on that link, it's going to open up uh, this web page here. And on this web page, you're going to have this list here of the available colors that you can use in Minecraft. The ones we're really focusing on, obviously, the names and also the chat code parts here. So you can always just refer back to this website. Otherwise, you can print it if you really want to or download a copy as well. So in this case, we're going to keep it nice and simple. I just want red. So I look for this red here. I'm going to go with this dark red. And all I do is I'm going to copy this one here. And then I come back to my game and I go in front of the word stop and I paste. <clears throat> now, don't worry about this kind of funny looking S and the four because when I leave, it, whoop, it won't be there. There it is. And just the word stop has gone red. Uh, let's have a look at how that will work um, in an NPC because it can be a little bit different. You've got to take into consideration kind of like your backgrounds and if you want multiple colors, how that's going to be affected across the line. So we make sure with our NPCs that, you know, we're in World Builder so we can edit them. If you're not sure about that one, hit T or enter on your keyboard. It's forward slash WB and then execute that command. If we open this guy up and then we go dialogue here, this is where, um, you know, we might write something in or we might want to have certain colors um, to associate with particular words. I'm not really sure. So like, for example, if I wrote um, the NPC was going to tell me, you know, a bit of a hint, um, swim to the other side of the lake. And what I might want to do here, I might want to um, maybe make the word swim and make the word lake um, different colors. Now, something that you've got to keep in mind here is taking into consideration the background color, um, different types of blues and whether they're going to be easy to read or not. So what I mean, for example, if we come back here, we look at the blues, there's a few blues. I might think to myself, oh, aqua. Yep, aqua, that sounds good. Let's grab this little code here for Aqua. So um, we're going to copy that one. And so, you know, where it says Lake here, I'm going to pop it in. And so I can kind of see, you know, it's fine, but it is a little hard to read, that word Lake. So I might want to use a different blue. I'm going to leave that one there for now just to show you something as well. But I might go, well, you know, let's go probably with this, um, this darker blue here, this guy here. So we're going to copy that one out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to swim all the way to the front of the word swim. We're going to paste that in and that's much easier to read. My only thing is I only wanted the word swim and lake to be changed in colors. Um, the rest of it I want to stay the same. Now what you'll have to do is actually put a third one in. So whenever you actually want um, only specific words affected you will have to revert it back to um, its original color or just a color that's, you know, more predominant. Um, so for instance, you kind of, it's either kind of this dark gray or this black. Let's just go with black. So if I copy the code here for black and I move back in and I come over to where it says two, what I'm going to do is everything between swim and lake will just go back to black. And so then there it is there. And so only those specific words are actually represented in those colors it's kind of like a bit of a trickery type thing but it gets the job done so <clears throat> that's how we add color to the text 
in Minecraft, it's pretty much across the board. It will appear in any of these. These codes will work anywhere where um, text will appear. So I hope you have lots of fun with it. I hope you can have a chance to use it in your classrooms. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat and we'll get straight on to them. Thanks guys, cheers.